Rising oil prices not only hitting consumers at the gas pump, now the CEO of one airline says ticket prices are set to go up due to higher fuel costs. The price of crude oil is nearly 40 percent higher than it was one year ago. Off its recent highs, however. Joining me now, Price Futures Group analyst, Fox Business contributor Phil Flynn, always fired up bright and early. Phil, the warning comes Thank from you. American Airlines' Doug Parker. What do you think of this, and will it mm -hmm. be the first of many? I think it may be. You know, a lot of these airlines were spoiled last year. They were making record profits, $38 billion in profits, and they didn't think that oil prices might ever go up. But all of a sudden, oil prices have gone up. A lot of them were not prepared for this because they believed in this lower for longer mantra, and they weren't hedged correctly. Now, I don't think that prices are going to go up right away, but this is a strong signal that if these oil prices stay where they are, and they probably will, then more than likely we're going to see those prices for tickets go up. Hey, Phil, it's Kevin Kelly here. Um, you know what's pretty interesting is that OPEC is actually trying to figure out the whole pr production conundrum. Do you think they're going to open up their spigots and actually bring more output onto the market and actually help stabilize oil prices and, and really put a cap on, 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 on the run-up we've seen recently? Kevin, great question. Last week, we heard from Saudi Arabia and Russia, and they were basically signaling to the market that they were ready to raise production, maybe by one million barrels of oil a day. But as soon as they said that, the price of oil dropped like, you know, 8% in a couple of days. I, I, I think it scared the cartel out of them, to be honest with you. So <laughs> I think they may have second thoughts um, because today, uh, you know, on the weekend, uh, they basically said that they might raise production, but they weren't very solid about that. They're going to be very price sensitive before they make that final decision. One of the questions I have is the announcement said they're necessarily going to they're going to have higher prices. It doesn't necessarily mean higher fares. Do you think airlines are going to go back to this? I mean, I, I, I've been reading about people saying that they're going to put uh, they're going to start charging for uh, carry on bags and other kinds of things. Do you think it might go into fees rather than fares? I think it is. I mean, the last time prices went up, they put on a fuel surcharge on tickets. That may be a possibility. Uh, but overall, we saw a report from the International Air Transport Association that basically said that their profits are going to be down by 12 percent from the record that they set last year. That's a huge drop. That's billions of dollars. So I think that because of the competitive nature of airlines, they're going to try to keep those ticket prices down. But eventually, if prices stay high, eventually they're going to pass those costs on. Phil, in terms of what people are going to be paying at the pump this summer, are, are your estimates, have they come down recently with the drop in the cost of crude oil? I think they have slightly. Um, I mean, right now the national average is about 295. Mm -hmm. uh, we do expect another run-up in price right before the Fourth of July, which is typical. Uh, but right now we haven't hit that three dollar a gallon area. But the big picture for gasoline prices, the era of low gasoline prices are over. Even if prices go down, they're going to stay pretty much where they are right now. Uh, there's a very strong global economy. Demand is strong. And the other thing I'm really concerned about is the cost of diesel. The truckers have really been feeling this price increase. You know, gasoline prices are at $2.95, but if you're a trucker, you're paying an average of $3.21 a gallon. That's mainly because the light oil in the U.S. doesn't produce a lot of diesel fuel, and those supplies are a lot tighter than gasoline. Right, and those higher freight costs, if you will, broadly speaking, Phil, it filters through to other businesses. We've heard that from the food company Cisco, just as one example. So, again, the, these yeah. the rising prices are filtering through the economy and will show up in ways we might not expect. Phil, great to see you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dagan. Phil Flynn in Chicago for us.